You know, so we all been waiting for the big debut of James Harden, and it seems like it's going to start tonight against the New York Knicks. And uh, the Clippers on the road and MSG tonight, and um, they can definitely make a statement there because a lot of people, a lot of players definitely like playing in Mad Square Garden. It seems to bring the best out of players, so maybe it'll bring the best out of Harden and the Clippers so they can get a win. Pretty sure by now everybody knows about the Lakers and Clippers uh, outing, which was definitely a great game. Probably the best game, the best game of the season so far, in my opinion. Uh, definitely would like to see more basketball like that. The end game, um, the end season term has been pretty awesome, though. Just watching some teams go against each other, the level of competition. I mean, the NBA Cup, you know, it just seems very important to some teams. So uh, hope, hopefully some teams don't take it as an NBA championship because I will never look at it the same as a championship. But, I mean, it's definitely something worth striving for. Definitely uh something that uh, I think that, um, you know, some teams want to have as far as just, you know, under their belt saying they accomplished that. And I like the competition I've been seeing. And uh, that's great. Hopefully it continues. But um, as far as the Clippers tonight going against the Knicks, I think the Clippers should win uh, specifically. Of course, they're the more talented team. But the Clippers sometimes play down to their competition. And I think that's uh, Achilles heel for the Clippers, you know. Sometimes you got to, you know, you got you got to, you know, dig deep and say, hey, this team is not on our level. We need to go out here and take care of business and, you know, punch right in the mouth and, you know, keep that same energy throughout the game. And I think the Clippers sometimes play lackadaisical at times, but hopefully, you know, they have the mindset to go in there and um, take care of business. I mean, they should win by 10, 15 points pretty easily. I don't think I mean, it might be competitive or something like that, you know, with the Knicks a little bit. But um, I think ultimately the Clippers should win by 10 or 15. I'm going to say probably probably like 121 to, I don't know, 108 or something like that, you know, give or take for the Clippers. But I definitely think James Harden will come out. I definitely think he's going to uh, come out with a good game. You know, last year he was averaging 21 and 10, led the league in assists uh, last year um, throughout the season, shooting 44% from the field. I think that he can give the Clippers about the same, maybe not points wise, but I definitely think that, you know, he can, you know, give them the same in regards to assists. And, you know, if, if James Harden can give them somewhere around 16, 18 points a game, you know, somewhere in there with about 10 to 15 assists, you know, 10 to 12 assists per game and, and maybe about two or three turnovers, you know, not too many turnovers, um, I think they'd be fine. And honestly, I think, you know, maybe it's a possibility James Harden turnovers might simmer down because the the pace of the game slows down because Kawhi Leonard plays at more of a slower pace. You know, if they could run fast, things like that. But that's more like when Russell Westbrook would be on the floor and when Russell when Russ is controlling the ball. I think, you know, what Ty Lue is more or less thinking is to put the ball in James Harden hands a little bit more because I think that Ty Lue feels like he'll be able to trust James Harden a little bit more just in regards to turnovers. And I know it's not much of a difference. I think last year, Russ was number one in turnovers. James Harden was like number two, you know, and I get it. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to be like funny or anything like that. I definitely understand. I definitely get it. But at the same time, it, it's one of those situations where you look at it and you say to yourself, this is a situation where the Clippers could really benefit or they could really, really flop. Because if James Harden comes out here with the mindset of getting everybody where they need to be and knock down shots whenever he's needed or asked to and not try to do too much offensively, not, not a lot of one-on-one -on -one isolation, you know, step back through the legs, you know, all that that James Harden used to do in Houston, if he can simmer down some of that, and play more, you know, in a fluid offense, which I don't think he's ever really had opportunity to play in besides his earlier days. I think in OKC, you know, when he was with KD and Russ and, um, you know, I think it, it would it would definitely help his game a whole lot more and allow him to be in the NBA a lot longer, I mean, especially if he learns to, you know, uh, sacrifice and, you know, be the player that they need him to be on this team rather than, you know, trying to go out there and play hero ball at times with the step back jumper and all that, you know, trying to draw fouls from the three point line. I think James Harden is probably one of the most probably the only player that's drawn the most fouls from the three point line ever, maybe besides Stephen curry because when you know james harden steps back with that with that three 
a lot of times he gets fouled or at least he, you know, fakes the foul and, and gets the foul call. And, you know, he's going to a line for a three or four point play. He's one of the only players that's ever really seemed to master that. But really, the Clippers don't need all that type of extra out of him because th- those could be empty possessions. And the Clippers, they're trying to win a championship. So empty possessions is not something a championship team is looking to ever get. And of course, if it works your way, good. But if it doesn't, it doesn't help out. So my main thing, my point is they don't, they really don't need that James Harden that comes out there and, you know, just putting up shots and playing hero ball at times and a lot of isolation because they already have too much isolation as it is. And that's the reason why I think a lot of people think this is not going to work out long term because they're all ball, ball dominant type guys. You know, what I'm saying it's, it's isolation ball. And, you know, Russ needs a ball in his hand to be effective and all this other stuff. What's the reason why I think they got to find a way to encourage Russ to maybe come off the bench with the second unit? Because I think it'll give him more balance anyway, you know, that way. But um, I definitely think James Harden will come in and play well tonight against the the Knicks. I'm going to say, uh, you know, he probably have maybe about 17, maybe 20 points somewhere in there. Maybe about eight assists, um, you know, a couple of rebounds. And, you know, just trying to get acclimated to the team and stuff like that. Well, you know, this, this is a good team to kind of like play against the, the Knicks. Uh, I definitely think the Clippers should beat them. But, I mean, you know, as I said before, if you play down to your competition, you could lose anybody. But um, I definitely expect James Harden to come out tonight and, you know, kind of show everybody what he can bring to this team. And then they can kind of just go to work from there. But it's my take on everything. Leave any comments and uh, we'll talk about it.